guys welcome back to Val's kitchen now in this video we will be making my real Jamaican pea soup red pea soup and every time we make soup we usually put what is called soup powder in our soup now I am going to be making my own soup powder it's convenient and I get to put exactly the spices that I or the herbs that I want in my soup powder. So let's get started and make my soup powder. Now the first thing I, I'm going to put all my spices and herbs in my little kitchen grinder. And the first thing I'm going to put is a little turmeric. Now I use turmeric not for the color but just for the properties. Next thing is black pepper because we want to get a little spice in the soup, right? So I am using a little black pepper. And as I usually say, it's a little of this and a little of that. We don't necessarily do measurements. Just add your herbs and your spices depending on how you you want your soup to eventually taste. The, now I'll add some dehydrated onions. So this is dehydrated onion flakes and I usually add a liberal amount of onion flakes to my spice blends. Next is salt. I use pink salt. So I'll just add maybe about just a teaspoon. Next, some parsley. Dried parsley flakes. And Stepping up the spice, putting in some chili flakes. Then some fennel. Just a couple cloves will do. And just a couple cardamoms will do. And the last thing I have here is some dried ginger fibers so now let's cover my grinder and grind away and it doesn't take long before i have my soup powder so now i have my soup powder i can go ahead and show you how we do our pea soup at the base of a pea soup is usually peas, some type of meat. Now, usually it's either chicken or beef. And a lot of times we would use beef bones. For me today, I will be using beef bones. I'll go ahead and I'll put, I should tell you, I have two pounds of beef bones here. So I'll go ahead and I'll put them in the slow cooker. Now, generally, when we cook back home, either you don't have a pressure cooker and you start very early to get the beef bones to cook, or you use a pressure cooker. For me, that using my slow cooker is ideal because I can just put my item whether it's uh, peas or meat whatever it is and I, I can just put them in the slow cooker and leave them be let them do their thing while i go do something else so i'm going to put my beef bones in my slow cooker and add about two tablespoons of my soup powder to my beef bones in the crock pot and I have already shredded some onions and garlic. And I'll add just about a half of my shredded garlic and onions in the crock pot with the soup bones. The other half I'll add with the peas. Okay, so that's it. What I have in the crock pot right now are the soup bone, the shredded onions and garlic, and the soup powder. Now, what I'll do is I'll add enough water to just cover the bones in the crock pot. And I'm adding boiled water because in that way, my crock pot gets a jump start to cook 
the beef bones. So I'll add enough to cover the beef bones and then I'll turn it on high, cover it and leave it to go for another five hours or so. I am using three different types of beans for my Jamaican pea soup. I am using red kidney beans. I'm using a cup of red kidney beans, a cup of red chili beans, and a cup of black beans. So I have already washed my beans and I will be starting my beans in this slow cooker. I'm going to put the rest of my shredded onions and garlic in with the beans. Then I'll add cold water to the beans. As I said before, I'm doing the real Jamaican pea soup. And real Jamaican pea soup starts, the peas start with cold water because we do believe that the peas take a longer time to cook if you start them in warm water. So we start them in cold water. So I'll go ahead and I am going to add just about three cups of water to my three cups of beans. And I'll add a tablespoon of my soup powder. I add the soup powder to the beans and to the soup bones because in cooking they start taking all all taking on all that nice good rounded flavors then i'm gonna cover the slow cooker and it too is gonna cook for about um, five hours so they're off to the races to start cooking the bones and the beans while I go ahead and do some Christmas decorating. So I'll see you guys later. Hi guys, so here we are back in the kitchen. I have emptied the contents of the craft pots in my pot here on the stove. Let's get started and tell you how I'm gonna finish up my Jamaican pea soup. So the first thing I'm gonna add to the pot is my dumplings now all i did for the mixture here is flour water and um, cold water and a little salt and just mix it until i get to a doughy consistency and i don't put cartwheel dumplings in my soup so i will be doing my spoon dumplings and basically how i do my spoon dumplings is to take the dough against the side of the bowl and cut and drop them in. So I take the dough to the side of the bowl and I cut. That's my spoon dumpling and drop it in. So I'll go ahead and put in all the dumplings in the pot. So now that I've spooned all my dumplings in the pot, I can see now that I will need some more water in the pot. So I'll go ahead and put some more water in the pot. And I usually keep boiled water, warm or hot water around whenever I'm cooking so that if I need to add a little more water, I don't use cold water. I use warm water. So I'll go ahead and put some more in the pot. And that's enough. Usually we have yams, like maybe yellow yam or a Negro yam or some type of white yam in our soups. But I live in the countryside of Ontario, so I don't have access to those types of yams here. So I won't have any of those yams in my soup, but it will be just as good. So after I put my dumplings in, I have 
some onions that I have chopped up this time earlier. I put some shredded onions in with the bones and the beans while they were being cooked. But these I chose to chop. So I put them in and I'm putting in the rest of my soup powder also at this point. And then I'll just cover and let the dumplings cook for about five minutes before I start adding my um, Irish potatoes and carrots. So I'll go ahead and cover the pot now and I'll check back in five minutes. Guys, it's time for me to put in my Irish potatoes and I have basically just chunked up my Irish potatoes. And my carrots. The carrots are also in chunks. Now I'll go ahead and I'll cover my pot and then I'll check back intermittently to see how it's doing before I add my scallion and my thyme. And of course, I'll also taste to make sure I have enough salt in the pot. So I'm checking the soup and it's cooking nicely. The pot is bubbling away. And so now I'm going to add my chives and my thyme. Just add them on the top and let them cook into the soup to add their lovely flavors. Let it be and let it keep cooking until all the food is cooked and those beans make the soup creamy and nice and that's probably going to take another 10 to 15 minutes or so okay so at this point, I have tasted to make sure there's enough salt and spice in the soup. And there is. And uh, the potatoes and carrots are almost there. So in about five minutes, I will be dishing up some plates of lovely Jamaican pea soup. Look how creamy. So creamy, so good. In five minutes, I'll dish up some dinner. See you then, guys. This out, guys. Come a little closer. Check this out. It's ready to be dished up. Just want to make sure I get a little of everything, including the lovely peas. Dumplings, Irish potato, just make sure we get all the loveliness in each bowl. Served. So guys, this is my Jamaican pea soup. The real <laughs> Jamaican pea soup. I have dished up for the family and now I am going to try it. Tasty with the right kick of spice, enough sodium, and man, it's creamy. Don't forget, I put three cups of beans in. I put a cup of chili beans, red kidney beans, and black beans. And they really come together nicely to make a very creamy and delicious Jamaican pea soup. I am going to enjoy my soup soon. But before I go, I must say thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing my video. If you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed, please go ahead, subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you can be notified of new videos with tips and tricks for your home and garden, lessons from my design studio, and my Jamaican dishes from my Jamaican country kitchen. 
once again thanks so much guys for watching the videos and for subscribing today i hit 600 subscriber and you have made me a happy youtuber so you take care now and i'll see you in the next video you will enjoy some jamaican pea soup ah. mm.